Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing great today. And today, guys, I have a wig that I want to show you all. And it is by Noriko. And it is the Jackson wig. And it came in a box like this. And this is the first time I've worn it. And I have had it for quite a while. And it's been hanging on one of my mannequins. And I decided tonight to try it because my hair was just not cooperating and I've been wearing like uh, some other wigs and everything um, some of my wigs are getting really worn and dried you know and drying out if you've watched any of my other wig videos I talk about how you know three months is about what you get out of a wig well I'm very curious to see what happens with this particular wig now I want to tell you guys a little bit about this wig it is not a lace front and it's not a monofilament top it's just a regular permatease wig you know with a regular wig cap um, and I'm surprised it doesn't look you know really really fakey the only thing is right here where the permatease is at guys there is spots where I think it looks a teeny bit fuzzy but if you like to um, you know like really tailor your wig for yourself you could probably go in and you know pluck out some of the um, the uh, crown not the crown some of the part and maybe make it look a little bit more natural the reason I'm looking over here guys is I usually have a monitor right here which is my laptop but for some reason when Apple did its updates my laptop will not hook to my Canon camera now I don't know why so now I've got it hooked to my little television and that's probably not a great idea because <laughs> I keep having to look over to see myself. Anyway, guys, what I wanted to say about, let's go back to the wig, okay, is that I do like this wig and I, and I like how it lays, but it does, it, it hangs in your face. So you have to use a hairspray. And the hairspray that I normally wear, let me get my hairspray, guys. The, no, the one that I normally wear is the um, Shape by um, Hair You Wear, and I usually use the um, the Firm Hold, but I haven't been able to find the Firm Hold. It was supposed to be the Firm Hold, and when I got it, I first noticed that the bottle was a lot different than the one that they had advertised on Amazon. And I did, I emailed the Amazon seller, and I have not looked to see what they said yet because I just emailed them yesterday so anyway it does not hold that good it does keep it out of your face a little but not as good as my other hairspray but you know I don't like it to look like a helmet head but this is kind of a little annoying you know so I wish I could just find something that would just hold that out of my face now I have been watching other youtubers that have had this Jackson wig and they've been taking you know their blow dryer which I know they don't recommend you doing this on synthetic wigs, but I do it as well. <laughs> but they've been taking a round brush and you know, uh, maybe if you want moisten it with some, um, with a, a spray bottle and kind of blow drying it, I guess where it um, will lay more together and maybe if you even wanna blow it away from your face. But tonight I just kind of, I put it on. I didn't even really comb it. I just put it on and I kind of finger combed it and that was about it. And then I sprayed it a little, a little with my Hair You Wear Shape Hairspray. Now, guys, I do love this color. And you know, guys, I don't know which color that I got. So I'm gonna have to let you guys know that on my next video, what color that this is. My last wig that I ordered, I had, um, I got highlights in it. And I didn't really care for it because the highlights were pretty big and chunky. This one, guys, has some light highlights in there, and they're not real big and bold, so I prefer that look. I just think it looks uh, more natural on me anyway, and plus, I really didn't like the color of the other, the other one that had the highlights in it, so maybe that was part of the problem, but this one is a little bit, um, this is a medium brown. Well, maybe a, it's more of a light, uh, this is more of a light brown got a little bit of blonde and auburn highlights running through it but I have saw this wig on so many other youtubers and I, I liked it 
I was like, wow, that wig looks good on everyone and it's not a monofilament top. I just think, you know, for, a, for the price of this wig, you can't go wrong. I mean, and it looks natural. Like, you know, it don't look real wiggy. Um, I'm thinking that the summer, it might be a little bit on the warmer side because it does have the wefting. So, you know, it doesn't have the, the uh, monofilament top uh, or the lace front. So it might be a little bit on the warm side if you go somewhere and you know it's really hot. But I have had a condition which is Hashimoto's disease, Hashimoto's disease for like a pretty long time, guys. I'm talking years. So I've been going through all kinds of crazy stuff with my hair. Like it was getting super thin for a while and it just, it drove me nuts. And I finally, one day I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try a wig. And now that I've tried them, guys, I don't know. I don't even like to fix my hair anymore. I don't even... It's so easy. It has really, really changed my life for the better. So if you're thinking about getting a wig, like, you know, if you're having health issues and you're very, very, um, I don't know, upset and it's making you feel, you know, bad about yourself, I say go for it, guys, and get a wig because you'll feel so much better about yourself. I mean, you really, really, really will. I've had some breakdowns over my hair even after I got wigs because, you know, you just want your hair back. But if I can't have my hair back, guys, I decided I'd rather wear a wig than, you know, go around with my scalp showing. And now that I've got some of my hair back, the quality of my hair is just, it's just not, it's not good anymore. It's really, really fine. It's frizzy. It's very hard to deal with, especially in the humid, you know, weather. And when it rains, I mean, it just, it's, it's hard. It's hard to deal with. I don't even really cut it much anymore. I mostly wear it in a ponytail all the time. So it's like, why not wear wigs, right? So let me know, guys, if you have just started wearing a wig or if you've been wearing a wig for a while and how you feel about your wig or other people wearing wigs. Please leave that in the comments below because I really like sharing that. I am excited about my new channel and I am looking forward to making a lot of new friends on here. And I hope that you guys will subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope you guys will watch some more of my videos. I hope that I answered any questions you guys may have. So tomorrow I'm going to try some different things. I'm going to try wearing, um, you know, one of those stocking caps and see if that will help a little because my hair is real long. And you know, when you put all the hair up on top of your head, it's kind of hard to get the wig down as tight as you want on your head. And the closer down guys you get that on your head, to me, the more natural the wig will look. You know, so it isn't raised, you know make your head makes your head look funny and I think sometimes it, it gives away that you're wearing a wig so anyway guys I'm going to try the stocking cap I have those wig grip bands and I did try putting on a wig grip band with this wig today and it just I don't know it didn't lay the way I wanted it to so I took the wig grip band off and this wig does not come with combs in it to hold on to your hair so if you do have hair and you feel more secure with combs you can certainly you know sew your own combs in there what i do that makes me feel more secure is i just secure it you know with a few bobby pins that's the way that i i, I do i don't usually do the the clips but i may sew some in it later but right now i just kind of you know i clip a clip in the back here with some hairpins and a clip right in here with some hairpins but what I like about this one is if you want, guys, you can really get this wig really, really full. If you like a lot of fullness in your hair, I think this is one of the wigs you can really get full. You could like tease it, you know, and spray it. And I also think you could probably get it a lot flatter than I have it now. I just haven't worked with it yet. This is the first time that I have worn this wig. I am so curious to see how it's going to hold up as far as, you know, wearing out on me I hope that it holds up longer because this one is not as long as my other wigs my other wigs are all long and the longer the wig 
guys it just seems to be they don't last as long and it's because of the friction you know from them laying against your neck and against your clothes and I guess you know sweating too but this one is a lot shorter than I'm used to wearing but I actually like it a lot and as I'm getting older I just you know you start I don't know you start liking shorter hair more you just feel like you know it just kind of I don't know it takes the weight off of your face a little bit I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did guys don't forget to comment and don't forget to like and share and don't forget guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until next time guys I hope you all all be safe especially during this time right now that we're having with all this coronavirus it's very very scary so guys if you are don't if you don't have anything to do Maybe, guys, you know, if you're watching videos or whatever, you know, you can watch YouTube or just find something that you like to do. Find a hobby or something, you know, to keep you from going crazy. Because I was going a little crazy. I was thinking, I don't know how much more of this staying at home stuff, you know, that I can take. But anyway, guys, I'm trying to adjust. And um, I think being on YouTube helps a whole lot. You know just watching videos and being able to share and you know react I, mean, I don't know converse back with women back and forth you know about beauty and just whatever if you want to talk about this virus or anything you know just talk about the virus if you want to I don't know guys just leave me comments and talk about hair you can talk about makeup you can talk about eyelashes or you can talk about being scared about this coronavirus I think we're all very scared and I have a doctor's appointment uh, in another week and it is out of state so guys I don't know what's gonna happen about that I'm not sure they're not wanting us to leave the state and they're not wanting anyone else to come here you know unless you have to and this is a doctor appointment that I can't change I'm trying to figure it out what I'm gonna do I'm going for sure and I have a mask that I'm gonna wear I'm gonna wear gloves a mask I'm gonna take hand sanitizer and I'm gonna also wear glasses I always have to go to the restroom so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that guys I'm scared to death to use the restroom and guess what the place that I'm going the state that I'm going they have more coronavirus patients or than we have they've had a lot more people die from it than we have so that's scary too and of course it being a doctor's office I think that makes it even more scary the grocery store is scary enough yeah guys this whole thing is just it's really really scary and going in a doctor's office is very very scary and I feel sorry for the doctors and the nurse, nurses right now during this time and the people that work in the doctor's offices I'm gonna wear my gloves and I'm wearing my mask and I'm wearing my glasses and I'm also taking hand sanitizer and I'm still gonna be cautious and try not to touch anything other than opening the door to get in and out of there so guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you have this particular wig, guys, and you like it, let me know that, and also let me know if you have any pointers on how to keep it out of your face a little bit better. If you do, let me know that too in the comments below. But listen, guys, thank you all so much for stopping by, and I hope to see you guys again really, really soon, and until next time, guys, everyone be safe, and I'll see you guys really, really soon. Bye-bye, guys.